Hello again, everyone. As usual, I'm BuffBud, and today we are back with another episode of Terraria Season 2 Calamity. So last episode was episode 20. We finally upgraded to uh, uh, Expert Mode, and we... I think we found the uh, thing from over here and down here, I believe. I think that was last episode. Um, I feel like there was something I forgot in that episode, though, but I can't remember. Uh, but at any rate, um, off camera, uh, I have been fighting all of the bosses, uh, all over again, uh, or trying to anyway, and I've been able to kill King Slime, the Eater of Worlds, the Grand Thunderbird, um, the Desert Scourge, I'm Cthulhu, Brain of Cthulhu, uh, the Hive Mind, the... Uh, Queen Bee and the Perforators again. Uh, that's all I was able to do though, because expert mode is no joke. These bosses are super hard now. Like, I thought we would be prepared turning expert mode on later on than, you know, the beginning. No, we are not prepared at all. Uh, but at any rate, um, here we go. We now have all of Drayton's logs here. Uh, we've already read the Aquatic Life and the Frozen Wasteland, but we still have these three that I wanted to read. Uh, let's see. Hung low in orbit, masses of ground in various parts of the Earth provide a secluded and distant point for research. Undeniably optimal for the science of astronomy and otherwise. In my labs, here I grow many things. Uh, in my labs, here I grow many things, testing their limits against the cold and vacuum of the stratosphere. Though not many survive, the existence of certain creatures here confirm the capabilities of life simply given more time. I do not care much for the interstellar or the cosmos. Though I have traversed it, there is still plenty in my own, uh, in my own world, uh, there's still plenty in my own world to manage and discover at this time. Even if I once inhabited a different planet, the Lord's wishes that I provide him machinery were the only condition that I needed to leave it and settle elsewhere. Once I have discovered and dissected every part of this place, perhaps then I could look upwards towards the macroscopic. The bloated cosmic worm. What? Though I understand why the Lord decides to employ it given he can control it, is a disgusting existence. However, the idea of creating armor suited to it uh, to it in every way was an offer I could not refuse. Forged from the cosmic steel of my own creation, it resists nearly... Oh, took on my own spit there. It resists nearly any attack, yet allows the creature to... Uh, creature the same flexibility it would have without it, as well as augmenting its dimensional abilities. I remain pleased with the result. The cosmic worm? Okay, that's weird. Anyway, here's the jungle one. As I record this, it would not be a stretch to call the jungle the hub of this planet. All of, uh, all is centered around it, and no one, uh, and none know not of it. It brings me no small amount to uns uh, brings me no small amount of unease to see the uncomfortable, raw forms of the living beings who pass through on their journeys above. Fortunately, these labs provide everything I need in my research and more. There's no need to ever visit the surface, say, uh, save for summons on the Lord's orders. A virus capable of devouring and converting almost anything, and nanotechnology, constructed painstakingly for the sake of control. Development was swift, and every piece fell into place uh, fell into place almost eerily, forming an ab abhorrent existence. I've heard that word. I've never actually seen it spelt. Uh, I struggle to think of practical applications which would... Uh, which would be friendly to common life forms. However, it is not a major concern. Many were hesitant to uh, continue its creation, but I granted them leave if they desired. I would have no need for any uh, any who were not entirely as dedicated as my machines. As I record this, it would not be a stretch to call the jungle the hub of this planet. Wait, what? Oh, press the wrong button. 
Mechanically augmented, the Queen Bee, which I had prior experimented on, was theoretically a perfect host for the plague virus. Wait, is there going to be a mechanical bee? That would be cool. Uh, when the first sign of the technology bonding with the creature began, however, the problems also showed immediately. The mind of the insect fought the control of the nanotechnology. Nothing like the simpler creatures I had used as test subjects. It grew increasingly violent, and once uh, and only once subdued it uh, did I receive simple orders. However, if we were to utilize it at all, there's no way... Uh, there is no other way than to let it roam free entirely. I will consider this further. Okay, so that is the queen bee converted to a mechanical bee. Um, yeah, that's definitely not anything I would recognize. Okay. And there we go. The entire landscape is, in a, const uh, is a constant source of ge geothermal energy and heat for a forge. If it was not entirely uninhabitable, save for demons and spirits, I would conduct me uh, much more of my research in the bowels of the earth, where I had actively chosen not to settle, however, is in the crags of the underworld. There, the magma is uncooperative and far more corrosive than should be possible. Uh, as it is saturated with cursed, twisted souls, courtesy of that witch. That explains it, then. Back when I found the, uh, what, what was it called? The, da, 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 da. the crags, that's it, the brimstone crag. Back when I found that, my health just started dropping. So apparently there's something with that area that actually does that. Interesting. Oh, don't like that. Uh, what a terrible abomination and yet an enticing subject. Not unlike the fusion of spirits which haunt the dungeons. This entirely... Uh, this entity is formed not of one, but a multitude of sinners. What holds different for it, however, is that the limitations caused by the artificial... Ugh. Sorry about that. Is that the limitations caused by the artificial uh, artificiality of the dungeon's existence do not apply to it. It is the laws of H.E.W. Hockey Sticks which brought them together into a single overlord of the underworld. And when an innocent life is sacrificed, their hunger, which appears to be in tune with the afterlife, surges. A blade completely un inundated? I've never heard that word before. Uh, with my surroundings during the time of its creation. It was tempered by the fires which are fueled by spirits and formed in the magma I draw into my laboratories. Its cutting edge, unparalleled, though its reach is limited, making general usage unquestionable. I would consider it for my very first foray into work for the sake of crafts uh, craftsmanship and art. If I was born synthetically, any creation which leads one to question whether I was is a creation I may be proud of. It shows that I can, after all, be graced by a muse. Is that the Miramasa that we found last episode? It might be. Anyway, right. Okay, so that is all of those. I just wanted to get through them because those are actually pretty interesting. Um, but at any rate, I did also want to try uh, this Piglin Army Banner. Oh dear. Um, well, um, I think our angler is dead. These are literally piglins from Minecraft. That is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Those are literal nether portals. That is freaking hilarious. Gold nuggets. Wave one? Oh god. <laughs> Billy the Angler has left. Okay. Ow. Can I even get in there? 
Okay, that did work. Good. There we go. Okay. So I do actually need to destroy the, uh, the nether portals for this to work. I really like... Oh, God. That's a blaze. That's a freaking blaze in Terraria. That is hilarious. I really like how they're doing this, actually. Oh my god! Like, nether portals look like they're actually, like, what they would be in reality. So that's really cool. There we go. Come on, just die. Heal up. I need to get my dude out here. Okay. Um, and then the blazes totally look like real blazes. Like, this is cool. Ow. There we go. Ow. Oh, dear God. Ah! Okay, these guys are strong. There's... How many waves are there? Oh, dear God. This is not gonna go well. Ow. Okay, this is working. No. Just die. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Hello. Please stop. Ah! Not another one. Okay. Oh my god. What the frick is that? I don't even know what that is. I can't even tell. A chicken jockey? Oh my god. That is hilarious. That's like a freaking uh, piglin riding a chocobo almost. I might actually just want to drop down and start shooting them with my gun. Because my gun does piercing damage. There we go. And with it being a legendary weapon, it's definitely very helpful. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's another portal up there. Dang it. Oh, stop it. Oh, my God. How many waves are there? Like, just... They, they, they just keep coming. Oh, my God. All my people are dying. I did not expect this. Minecraft has invaded... Ow. Oh no, are, are uh, Wither Skeletons gonna come in? That would be hilarious. Well, no, because Wither Skeletons and Piglins hate each other, don't they? I don't know. Oh dear god. Can y'all, like, stop attacking me, please? And the fact that I'm not getting any obsidian for all this is bogus. It's raining. How are the blazes still here if it's raining? Dicks. Okay. 
Immediately when I say that, it stops raining. That's funny. There we go. Oh, Jesus! Zombie piglin brute, huh? Okay, so I think that is the final wave. Okay. So I think I need to kill him and the final nether portal. Because if I don't do, uh, kill that final nether portal, then I think he might just keep coming back or something. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. I couldn't actually... Ow. I couldn't actually do anything to that nether portal. Damage-wise, I mean. Okay. Zombie Piglin Brute has been defeated. But can I do any damage to the uh, portal? Oh, I can. Okay. Nice. Okay, so that's kind of like an event similar to the... Um, what do you call it? Blaze Rods. Nice. Similar to the uh, Old One's Army. Good to know. So from now on, uh, whenever we do that fight, we need to actually do that in an actual arena then. That was cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. That was actually really kind of cool. And we also got a treasure bag from the uh, uh, dude ham. Okay. So what are these gold nuggets and um, uh, blaze rods good for then? I would be really mad if the gold nuggets could only be turned into gold ingots. Oh. Oh. Apparently she drops wire. The mechanic, that is. Alright, so we'll take those. Alright, so that was kind of fun. Alright, squeaks the squirrel. Uh, flare bolts, and then sauce bow. Huh. Anyway, blaze rods. Uh, blaze powder. Brand blade. Then Nether Cane. 40 magic damage. 26 magic damage. Uses 4 mana. Uses 4 mana. Interesting. Okay. Okay, and then Midas. 40 damage. 47. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so... Oh. Blaze powder is only to make that. Gotcha. And that can't be upgraded or anything. That's weird. Okay, so... Potentially the nether cane might actually be a good way to go magic-wise. Because this might be a ma uh, legendary weapon, but at the same time, that has higher magic overall. 33 melee, 58, yeah, no. I think we'll try the nether cane. That seems kind of nifty. Um, I guess the Piglin Brute doesn't actually have an expert item, interestingly. Oh, well. Okay, another cane. I want to try that, so let's craft one. Alright, so 36 magic damage, just because it does have a little bit uh, bad of a thing, but whatever. Do I have space? I have a single one. Okay, so I want to try this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it lights fires. That's even better. Okay, I will keep that for now. Um, Now, if we open up our... That's not it. Uh, okay, yep. If we open up this, our next boss is Crabulon, in which we need to use one of these things in the... Mushroom biome. So I want to try that now. Uh, to make that, we need just simply 25 glowing mushrooms. Really? What's that thing called? Decapoditia? Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Oh, I can make the effigy of decay? Really? Crooked deceit. Okay. Interesting. There we go. Anyway, so we have that. We have that. Let us take this down into a mushroom biome. We're not going to use our artificial one because we need something more open. So let's go over here. Okay. Also, why were uh, our NPCs spawning so quickly during that battle? Like, they just kept dying, then respawning, then dying, then respawning, then dying, then respawning again. It was weird. At any rate, I believe this is the path we need to go, right? Yes, okay. There we go. Yeah, I want to try and knock out more bosses now. I kind of want to do a bit of a boss rush, if you will. Okay. Come on. Okay. So I don't know what to expect here. I don't even know if this is a big enough area for this, but whatever. Oh, hello. Okay, so we're obviously doing pretty decent damage to this thing. Because I think this is a very early boss. But even with it being very early, it is still an expert mode boss now. So we got to try and be careful. Ow. Bruh. Wait, he's dead already? What well, killed him? He was still at, like, half health. Okay. That's strange. Alright, I'll take it, though. Okay, so we got Magnum Rounds. We got a Krabby Lawn thing. Uh, we got his treasure bag. Okay, good. A crab and its mushrooms. A love story. It's interesting how creatures can adapt given certain circumstances. Favorite this item to gain the mushy buff while underground or in the mushroom biome. However, your movement spill will be decreased while in these areas due to you be, uh, being covered in fungi. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Zealous mycelial claws. Uh, Hyphae rod. Uh, sleek shroomerang. Interesting. And then fungal clamp. Summons a fungal clamp to fight for you. The clump latches onto enemies and steals their life for you. Okay. That actually seems like it might be worthwhile. Um, I think I'll get rid of that. That actually seems very helpful. Ow. Bruh. Okay. Well, at any rate, that's done now. So, the decree. Use a frost rune in the snow biome. How do we make that? Uh, okay, so frigid ooze, fallen stars, and evil ingot. Simple enough. I wonder, is this uh, upgradable? It is. The amalgam. Uh, that looks like it has way too much stuff for me to do, though. Oh, and that's at Drayden's Forge. What is Drayden's Forge? Interesting. Okay. Um, Magnum Round goes elsewhere. That goes elsewhere. Uh, means uh, needs to be sold. Okay. Alright, so I need to take... Oh, God, there's so much garbage in here. Um... I guess. Let's take those out. Let's take boss summons out. There we go. Uh, that needs to go in. I'll put boss summons down here for now, I guess. There we go. And then I need to go sell the tubes. Okay. Nice. Nice. And then, let's do this decree thing. Rune. There we go. Uh, I have more of...
those, so let's do this. Oh. There we go. Alright, so let's go over to the snow biome and summon a decree then. Actually, before we do that, let me come over here. And let me get both of those up. Summon another one of those. And then let's go summon a decree. Because I'm pretty sure we can get over there within 10 minutes. So we should have enough uh, time for our little dudes and for our uh, strength buff. Melee buff, I should say. Okay. Yeah, I just want to try and get going on everything here. Because I feel like we are very be uh, very far... Bleh, very far behind on everything. There we go. Alright, so we're in the snow biome. Just summon it. The decree. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so it's like a wolf man? Werewolf type thing? Okay. Ow. Well, that thing definitely is uh, doing work for me. Oh god. Okay, I cannot stay close range to that thing. What? Second phase? Oh god. Bruh? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Oh, dang it. Okay. Ow. Oh, no! Dick. We were so close! Unless there was, like, a third face I didn't know of. God dang it. Oh, that sucks. What the frick was that? The decree is no longer after you. You don't say! Okay, so let's try that again, then. That was interesting. Do we have any potions that'll help? I mean, gravitation might help, but I don't know. I don't think any of that stuff would really be helpful. Um, yeah, that was kind of uh, difficult, actually. Let's get a couple of them. And let's go back over. Alright, so we're back in the uh, snow biome here. And this time, I also brought some... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, some uh, mana potions to help out. Actually, over here looks like a very flat area. Let's fight him over here. Hello. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh, you only get a couple seconds of mana potion uh, cooldown? I thought it was the same as uh, mana sickness. I'm close. Yeah! That was actually a bit tough. I am not gonna lie. Okay. So what did that give me then? Uh, also, that did not give me any kind of um, 
Uh, scavenger? Didn't you really have one of them? Whatever. That didn't give us a, um, uh, one of those weird little swirly soul-like things. So we didn't get that. Camouflaged Frigid Pendant. Become the Frigid Predator. Turns a holder into a humanoid decree when in the snow biome. Um, I mean, no, it didn't. I'm still me. I'm confused now. Whatever. Uh, then decree fur. Uh, so I can make various different things. Summon damage. What is our current damage? 38. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Alright. So we got that. Um, I don't know what else we can really do right now. Because we're pretty much out of time for this episode. There we go. Uh, let's put uh, this back on, by the way. There we go. Okay. Um, let's teleport back home. There we go. Okay. And then that can go in there. Is that that is a material? Okay, so that's for a uh, enchantment later on. There we go. I wonder if there are any enchantments that we can actually make that would be helpful for us right now. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna actually put that one away. Okay, and then I'll keep those for later on. I'll fight that thing again on my own. Oh, and someone actually is coming in my room. I'll be right back. All right, so uh, I'm thinking what we should do now is, uh, what was it called? <laughs> Jellyfish Resonator. There we go. Okay, so let's get one of them. Also, actually, now that we've fought some of these guys already, I think we can actually... Yeah, so we could buy that and that from this guy. Um, this one's a dark mage. Interesting. This guy does not actually sell anything for the uh, piglin brute. Neither does this one. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but at any rate, uh, I'm going to try the queen jellyfish now. There we go. We need to do her at the ocean. Oh god. Uh. Oh, hello. So you're that new guy. What, you think I'm over here poking swords and beastie tickers? Nah, copper. I'm just waltzing over here. Taking the swag you left behind. Tell me your secrets. I'm sorry. What was that? Decree Chop summons a howling death pup to follow you around the music box. Alright, I don't know what that uh, secret was, but okay. Anyway, um. Oh dear, hello. Queen Jellyfish. Okay, so she definitely has quite a bit of health. That is unfortunate. Oh, dear lord. Okay, so I do have to avoid that. What the frick? Okay, is there going to be another phase? There definitely seems to be another phase. I feel like there is going to be one. There is not. Alright. Interesting. Oh, what the frick? There's a diver? Someone just fell out of that aquatic abomination. The aquatic depths... Hold on, what was that? The aquatic depths bubble beneath the ocean surface. Who the frick are you? I've collected many items in my travels. Hero, would you like to purchase one? Air tank. Here you go, 
no friend. This air tank will automatically activate when your breath reaches critical level. Come visit me afterwards, and I'll refill it free of charge. Interesting. Jellyfish idol. Summons a jellyfish in a bubble to follow you around. Marine catcher. Uh, massive crab claw. His ride on a giant crab while mounted, you can walk on liquids. Whirlpool saver. Saber. Sorry. Marine launcher. Little torpedo. Interesting. Okay. So the aquatic depths bubble. Was all this here before? Beneath the ocean surface. Huh. Interesting. Conch shell, uh, jellyfish hat, pink gel. Does she not? Oh, there it is. Uh, menacing sea breeze pendant. Wearers of this pendant shall not fear the depths. Increase your breath by 50% and grants the ability to swim. Increases your damage by 10% when you're wet. That is a weird looking octopus. All right. Choking aura. A presence most foul. Pollutes and poisons all nearby air. Huh. Okay. Old One's Army, Viscount, the Flaming Pumpkin. Okay, so... Interesting. I guess we're going to be working on the Old One's Army next episode. Uh, I've actually gotten an area set up for that already. Uh, over here, I flattened this massive area. Uh, that way I can just put like the, the thing like right in the middle here. And then we can just fight everything. Uh, later on in uh, like hard mode, I actually do want to put uh, conveyor belts down here leading to the middle and then just have like a massive murder zone to have everything be picked up from it. I think that would be perfect. Uh, but at any rate, uh, that's pretty much going to have to be it for this episode. We got a lot done. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go back through and try to kill anything that is killable. Um, being, you know... Oh, I didn't mean to put that in there. Uh, potion, potion, potion. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, anything that uh, I am able to kill, simply because, I mean, it's not really easy to kill things now. Uh, there we go. So we got another one. That's nice, though. That is really nice. Uh, so yeah, I will do more stuff off camera, and I will hopefully have cooler stuff next time. Uh, right now, I am kind of stuck at a point where these are basically the best weapons I can get. Just simply because I don't know what to upgrade them to. So, yeah. I'm going to have to work on that. But anyway... I'm rambling at this point, so I'm going to have to end it here. If you guys did enjoy this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day then. Goodbye.